the most important thing for museums to do is number one, don't assume that you know what the blind person wants or does not want. The number one thing to remember is to always ask. And then work to improve the accessibility of your facility with a multitude of methods. Uh, audio description of exhibits is very important. To have printed material in braille, large print, and on tape to have volunteers available to help escort blind people when it's appropriate and, and to share with them um, what's there. Some of the best examples of accessibility are already in museums. They're when you walk into the museum and there is an audio cassette that describes the exhibitions that's there for everyone. And the blind person can put it on and can use the tape recorder and can move around the museum just like anyone else. Now, some individuals might want a sighted person to accompany them uh, to help describe things or help uh, them move through the galleries. And other individuals will want to do it themselves, and they'll just want some verbal direction to where they start and where they end. And always in your programming, to try to build in those accommodations so that they're right there at the point of entry that anywhere anyone else would come into the museum. For example, if if sighted individuals come to an information desk to get orientation to the museum, to pick up a map, to, um, to find out when the uh, guided tours are, then that's where the blind person is going to come, and that's where the information should be. The ideal circumstance is you walk up to the desk, and you be handed material in accessible form. You get verbal instructions if you have questions, and if at all possible, that there be a volunteer or a docent to assist an individual if they want that.